August 12th meeting, I believe. Um, the board started off as we always do with, uh, with a rather extensive closed session and, and uh, just to put some of the uh, concerns I've heard from constituents to rest, there were a number of items on our closed session uh, agenda that referenced uh, property negotiations, terms and conditions, that sort of thing. Somebody called me and said, is the county considering buying more property? And I just want to allay that fear to start with. No, the county is not considering purchasing property. We're actually considering uh, surplusing um, excess property that we currently own and have no additional use for. So most of those uh, terms of negotiations revolve around selling property and or uh, extension of leases that we have on uh, for grazing on um, open parcels of land of county property. So we finished up with our closed session agenda and moved on to the regular agenda. We had a number of folks speak under public matters not on the agenda. Um, a couple of folks that uh, needed to be able to be done and, and get back to work as quickly as possible spoke regarding the Mule Creek expansion. They request that the Board of Supervisors take an oppose position. Um, again, I, I need people to understand this is a state project on state property and the Board of Supervisors has no authority to approve or disapprove. We can take an oppose position, but strictly as a comment to the environmental impact report of Mule Creek. We did draft a letter that, uh, that covers a number of the issues addressed in the environmental impact report, traffic issues as well as wastewater issues, and uh, authorized the chairman and CAO to modify that letter slightly to reflect uh, all of the concerns expressed regarding the expansion of Mule Creek Prison. Uh, we moved on from there to uh, an item on our agenda regarding veterans services in Amador County. Uh, there has been a host of, uh, of email strings and uh, uh, almost, I would say, confrontational uh, exchanges between a relatively new startup veterans services organization uh, called Amador County Veterans Organization dot Inc. Uh, it's a 501c3 nonprofit organization that has been created by an individual, Mr. Jason Mulford and his wife, Nicole, uh, to provide uh, not only employment for uh, themselves, but also to provide veteran services um, throughout, to, to all veterans throughout Amador County. Uh, the, the dispute has revolved around Amador County has our own veteran service officer. He is accredited and credentialed Amador County veteran service officer. He is employed by Amador County and many of the functions that he performs on behalf of veterans result in subvention or reimbursement funding coming back from either the state of California or the federal government's uh, Veterans Affairs Administrations back to the county to help offset and uh, supplement uh, the costs that we put into providing a host of services to our veterans. Uh, so there's been a lot of confusion uh, of late as to where veterans should go. Mr. Mulford uh, has stated that there's confusion about the uh, Veteran Services Office being located in the American Legion uh, Hall up on Airport Road. Uh, a host of people got up to speak to uh, disagree with that point, quite frankly, that, uh, that there's any confusion there. The, the confusion is created now by uh, his uh, promotional efforts for his organization, uh, which happens to be named either intentionally or unintentionally in a very similar manner so as to uh, make the acronym very closely related to County Veteran Service Officer, CVSO. Um, again, we heard a number of uh, comments from the public on this. Uh, obviously, the veterans, uh, overwhelmingly, the veterans were in support of, uh, of keeping things as they are. They're very happy with both our past and our present veteran service officer. He operates out of the American Legion Hall on Airport Boulevard. Um, they spoke to the point that uh, it's less confusing for all veterans to have a single point of contact for access to the various veteran services that they have uh, that are available to them. Uh, there's veterans stated they've been here for 40 years and, and it's worked beautifully, leave it alone. Uh, Al Lennox, uh, the uh, 
head of the American Legion post here in Amador County as well as the ambulance company uh, got up to speak again about trying to allay the confusion and uh, and really put to rest um, where veterans should go to get their services. Um, again, a host of people spoke on behalf of that. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mulford then got up and had a, uh, a few folks speak on his behalf, their, their experiences with homelessness and his, uh, his opening of a facility called Victory Village up on uh, Kennedy Flat Road to provide uh, shelter to homeless vets is something that obviously if, if you were homeless to start with you'd have a, a great deal of concern about. So in the end the board was asked and took a very strong supportive position of the Amador County Veteran Service Officer and Veteran Services Facility located at Airport Road. Mr. Terry Sanders is that contact person and uh, those in attendance were very appreciative of the board trying to alleviate any further confusion on this matter. Uh, as a result of how long that meeting went, we, uh, we moved on to our public hearing session. Um, we had a uh, merger and uh, utility abandonment uh, request. It was a pro, uh, excuse me, it was approved by the Planning Commission. Uh, simple situation where somebody wanted to merge two parcels into one to give a greater buffer around their house and abandon the utility easement in between. That was approved by the board. Also a uh, request for variance of the setback requirements for a uh, carport construction down in the Comanche area and, uh, and also a uh, conversion to uh, ag zoning for another instance. Uh, I'd like to touch on the Comanche wastewater system. Uh, AWA had come to the Board of Supervisors for uh, funding for some of the repairs and maintenance necessary with an old county water system that the county gave to Amador Water Agency and uh, probably feels a little guilty about the condition they gave it in. We have made a $150,000 grant to the AWA for a specific priorita prioritized list of repairs to be conducted in that Comanche area and uh, they will follow through with that. Um, Again, took a stance on the Mule Creek State Prison expansion and lastly uh, postponed the uh, signing or adoption of a new ordinance regarding well drilling permits and standards until our next meeting. So with that, thank you for listening, Amador County. We will be back shortly at TSPN News. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.